See if Optimus Prime can take the time to celebrate the holiday season, I can imagine you can too. If you put the Santa hat on me, I'll bite your kneecaps. You don't even have a mouth. Optimus Prime is the rightful leader of the Autobots, chosen for amazing things by the matrix of leadership passed down to him. Many look up to him for his loyalty and ways to inflict freedom to life forms across the universe. But now it goes caroling. In 2022, as the holidays were coming up, Hasbro decided to create a little something special tied to VNR. In Canada, it was mainly available in GameStop, but they decided to release a unique holiday Optimus Prime as a leader class toy with a special package. Can I say, I love the box with this festive design, the wrapping paper look, and hey, there's a little snowman. Optimus Prime transforms into a Volvo with the trailer, and yes, it is a licensed Volvo, the box says so. Apparently, this was initially intended for an Amazon exclusive based on their delivery trucks, but I guess that didn't happen. However, we did get a regular version. You could tell this was meant to be a collab like JP93 or Gigawatt since there's so much focus on getting the design of the truck right. While the truck itself is primarily new as of this release, the trailer and gun is from Earthrise Prime. Sure, all it needs to be is a box anyways. It can't prop up with the stand and uses an adapter since the trailer hitch is so far back. The door swings open with a ramp connector, though the peg is positioned awkwardly. This can come off as a shield and the whole thing can open perhaps to store more holiday gifts. Plenty of portholes, but the gun stores at the bottom looking kind of... Awkward? It looks like my dog when he's really happy. It's a white inside, it's nearly glaring, like the plain ice cream at the bottom of a DQ cup. The drone remains unchanged as it uses multiple joints, arms, holes for blast effects, and can pop off to plug onto 5mm portholes. The truck itself is well shaped all around. I mean, look at the back, it feels so rare that there's nearly no kibble or feet slapped on. I love the color with the black back and red painted with an effect to look like snow over top, but the snow can't hide the happy holiday text. I'm serious, the Mud flaps, the shape of the front, headlights, even the back of the cab with the window is spot on with a single smokestack and mirrors sticking out. Rolls well, love the transparent green and Volvo logo. Though the back does flex, it's no biggie. While the trailer itself might be a tad disappointing due to the fact that it's just a repaint, I do like the candy cane prints with the festive logo, and the truck makes up for it to the point of looking more like a model than anything. Robot mode, die to the world! Well, this is another surprise. I can see why so many people want this to be the Hero G2 recolor, but as is, this feels better than it should be. I mean, for some festive bonus, the joints are good, it feels standard for generations, and it's pretty solid. I like the panels on the legs to cover it up, the torso comes together nicely, and I like the tires on the back, it feels a bit refreshing. For the holiday look, he's given white with the red and clear green in places. You can even spot the white outline of a Santa coat with the chest and the sleeves. Not only does the head work with the white mouth plate, but the metallic blue helmet still gives it a holiday vibe with the pretty colors of the season. It's very solid. Did someone say? Articulation! Ball joint head, shoulders out and in, forward to back, rotation below, elbow bent, wrist rotation, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward to back, rotation below, knee bent, foot forward, back, tilt, toes, and heels move. Visibility is pretty good, especially with the feet. Everything seems tight enough as is, and thanks to the ball joints and the wrist, they still convert in while giving it a joint to work with. Let's take a look at the accessories. The ramp shield and detachable drone are included but they look pretty awkward here. He does come with the Candy Cane Deco Ion Blaster that can fold up, store on the back, and of course, plug into the hand. There's portholes in the feet, behind the thighs, hands, under the arms, shoulders, and back. He also comes with the typical Matrix, similar to the one from the G2 Prime in transparent green and red. Sadly, there's no opening hands for him to hold it. I'm very surprised. When I first heard that there was a Holiday Optimus Prime coming, I thought this could be a good-looking generation-style repainted figure, or perhaps something similar enough just for the time being, but I didn't expect the effort put into it. This is actually a really fun figure, solid enough to work with the other generation's figures, and such an interesting novelty for anyone who's celebrating the holiday season. If you like what you see, I think you'll enjoy it. I mean, it's better than the holiday special that Star Wars did. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.